thank you very much. I'm so glad to be at UCU, a university that I have been associated with for the last for 16 years as a student, as a lecturer, as a member of council, and as a chairman of, un of the University Governing Council. 16 years, and a university where my wife was a lecturer, a university where my children grew up from, and they were studying in Kampala from here. So I'm so glad and excited. We thank God for being invited on this public lecture that has been addressing the subject of uni you, you, Christian universities and how they can establish a resilience against in, in, in uh, local health systems. Christian universities have a part to play in ensuring that we have robust health systems, local health systems, and that can be done through the training. And I thank God that we have been realizing that through curriculum, we can be able to ensure that the doctors and the nurses and the medical personnel who are going to come out of this university are very conscious of the health issues based on the Bible. Because when you go to scripture, there are very many scriptures which assist us to appreciate the fullness of life. Like John 10, 10, the thief comes to kill, steal, destroy. But I came that you may have life in full. That scripture is very much loaded with a health message. Because those who love Christ, know Christ, we live a fulfilled life. In the, in the research I've carried out, small research, I found out there is a connection between faith and long life. And so, university students coming out and doing sciences and doing medicine, appreciating the interrelationship with scripture will be very helpful to us. We need a collaboration. Even the religious leaders or the students of theology will need to come out in the field when they have an exposure to the, the good benefits that science has. Because we've had religious leaders also going out and they are opposed to science. They are opposed to medicine. So the two need each other. And I think that is the most important. There is need for dialogue. There is need for partnership, collaboration, working together to appreciate the, the positives in each other and the possible challenges.